in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Sacre de Belegate Palada Barantas Cadibali Sabria Hascada Embrecate Paca Pras Catilla Caprasco Sedecate Belecatosia Senda Brandegate Belecatos Cotopra de Belecata Prahascada Baladabos Sapres Cates 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 Imbracata Parato Cotopra de Gate Belecate Brandos Cotopalatos Sebrate gete beleke tos kate branda kata braske debata Embra kata barotos koto brende ke baretos koto brende gete Ibra kata braske te beleke te branda kata pros koto bala kata Sabra kata barata kata brende ke te leke te proto kotos Sabra kata kata ska braske te beleke to pros Embra kata branda kata beleke te bras koto bos Shakata barada bakata brada gete gete brada gete Imbra kata brantos koto pronto kotos Pare gete skade fras kade balantos koto pros Rakata brede gete beketo pronto koto pre gete Imbra kate ketos koto brato koto pre gete gete Shakata brada gete balata to pro koto bata ketos koto pre gete gete Shabranta kata brante gete brante gete balata tos koto bate Sabre kete be kete brando koto brando koto pala katos. Kata pre kete pala katos. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Let your eyes be on Jesus. Shi kete be re kete brando koto brando kete bata ka. Embra kete paroto koto brando kete pala katos. Sabrenda skate kete para tos katos. Embra kete pare kete bras koto parusia. Sabranda skate kate parika ti brandi ke belekos. Sabra kate pare kate pare kate balakatos. Sade brandi kate bele kate prato kos koto brandi ke parahasa de balata. Your life will never be the same. I assure you. Your life will never be the same. You are about to encounter grace indeed. Sagate bereketos kate la baranta kaprende gete balatosia. Sagrete ke parato katusa prende gete. Five more minutes. Don't be distracted. Imbra kate parato skoto prando koto prende gete belegeta. Sabra kata baranta kas kata prende gete baratos. Imbra kata prege te berente ke skoto protosha. Imbre teleke te brosa sike te meleke ta Sabra kata parandos kotu balaka toski agama Sabra kata bereke te kete meleke te brandos kotu baka tos Sabra kata parike te brende ke te bereke tos kotu brata Imbra kata kata brende ke te brende ke te balaka tosha kate Sacrete casco do bande brash cami brada cada balados. Sabrende que te pele que te prosco do barata balaca do brande que te pele que ta. Sacrete que te prande que te pele que te prosca ti balados. Manda braca ta para catos co do brande que te pele que tos cadia ta. This is part of the meeting. Kate brende kate bele kate brakatos kate brende kata awake thou that sleepest manta brende ke parakatos koto brende kate palata embra kata brende kados awake thou that sleepest manta brakata bakata brakata bakate. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please, I want you to listen very carefully because your life is truly about to change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, hear me. There are people who will start running by the anointing. I want you to hold them and bring them out. I want to release a grace for speed, like physically delay, help them so they don't injure themselves. I stretch my hand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic everyone here hold them ushers please be sensitive in the name of jesus whether you are an usher or not by the power that raised christ from the dead every yoke of delay bring them out i decree and declare let the grace for speed and ambra state i stand by this apostolic anointing may that grace rest upon you now take that grace now Take that grace now. Life to your years. Please don't come out at random. It's the Spirit of God that is bringing them out. Bring them out. No more delay. Regardless what has kept you, I release you by the Spirit of grace. Ten years in one year. Ten years in one year. Ten years in one year. Sakra takata pakata. Grapenta skatala kataba. Every altar of delay that has tied down any destiny here. Every altar of delay that has tied down any individual. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And fire will come upon you. Bring them out, please. Whether you are an usher or not, help the ushers. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command a release. I prophesy a release by the Spirit of grace. An umbra state, something is happening to your soil. Brandeke parakatos kadiapa. Embreke te katus to te brandeke te. Listen to me. I want to prophesy to you. Everything that was lost 
shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen. Everything that was lost. And everything that was stolen. Now hear me. Please listen carefully. Don't be distracted. As I walked into this place, I was hearing the sounds of chains. That was what I was hearing. Chains that have held families down. Chains that have held many for many generations. I'm about to release you by the Spirit. Now hear me. At the count of three, if God be God, as you shout Jesus, every altar over Anambra, I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic, by ancestry and inheritance and witchcraft. For the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And it says, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Are you ready to shout? At the count of three, bring them out. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command those altars, release them now. Release your destinies now. Gates be broken. Bars of iron be broken. Gates be broken. Bars of iron be broken. Gates be broken. Bars of iron be broken. Patterns of darkness be broken. Lord, you took my shame away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and sing Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Taking the pain and the sorrow away You've given me peace undeniable There's no need to cry cause you're always with me You're my father, my everything You know it now Oh man, my Hallelujah. Who is Shidozie? I'm hearing a name, Shidozie. Is there someone with that name? We have to hurry up tonight. Who is Shidozie? I'm hearing. I presume there might be many people. You are wearing a yellow, like a t shirt. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit, like a yellow, is it a t-shirt or something of that sort? She does it. Is there someone like that? Don't worry, allow the chidoses to come, but there is a particular one I'm seeing. You are wearing like a yellow t-shirt. God wants to turn your life around. What do you do, my friend? Do we have another mic? Please help us. Let's make it ready.
Onyeka, whose name is Onyeka. I'm hearing the name Onyeka. The season is about to open to you. Onyeka. I don't know if it's male or female, but I'm seeing a male in my vision. Please make sure you don't just come out at random. What do you do, my friend? Huh? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Your life is about to change. I don't know you from anywhere, but my friend, there is a name that is above every other name. And God wants to bring visitation for you. Hallelujah. Now hear me. There is a lady who will shout loud in the congregation to the hearing of everyone. Please bring that lady here now, right now, as I'm speaking. A loud shout. Father, I pray for you. I'll just pray for all of you in general. There's a lot for us to do. In the name of Jesus, you don't have to kneel. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. There's one of you, the mighty power of God is coming on you now. One of you in front here. And the Lord is telling me after that encounter, then I pray for all of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may your life never be the same. I release you. The miracles and the blessings allotted for your various families. In the name of Jesus, step into it right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. The Lord is showing me a woman. We'll be praying for the sick shortly. But the Lord is showing me a woman one, two, three, four, five years. Exactly five years. You've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Who is that? Your story is about to change. Please come quickly. Let's save time. Mm. Please don't come out at random. There's order in the house of God. Make sure that you understand what we're saying. My friend, look at me. What happened to you? Who is with the mic? Please teach the people what to do so that... Hold on. Madam, look at me. This woman. Shout Jesus. Out of her now. The name of Jesus. What happened to you, my friend? You are from Anambra here? Yes. Sir. How long? Last year. June second last year. What happened to your leg? I had accident. Is it a fracture? That's what I'm asking. No, not the fracture. I have a, a stroke after the other day. I have a stroke. Do you believe in the power of the Holy Spirit? Yes. This is witchcraft. Lift the rod. Lift it up. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your... Lift it up. Walk. 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 Lift it up. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Walk. I rebuke that stroke. Are you celebrating Jesus here? Hallelujah. Now, these women here, please place your hand. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Listen, this is not just the display of the anointing on a man. This is Jesus Christ visiting a territory to glorify his son. Are we together? Now, I'm standing. God bless you, sir. This healing, this, because I'm looking at you. It was not just an accident. In the vision, I'm seeing you lying down on a bed completely half of you has gone paralyzed this is what the devil wanted to bring but god has brought your deliverance now god bless you sir now i want to pray for all of you please look at me i don't care what the medical report is you see every challenge is at the mercy of the kind of grace that confronts it challenges are not generic they depend on what grace confronts it i decree and declare most of you this demonic thing called delay is witchcraft by the power that raised christ from the dead right now i release you now release them now in the name of jesus help them i lose you now now be loose now be loose now in the name of jesus christ according to the time of life i prophesy to you 
that in the name of Jesus return with your miracle children let there be a correction of everything that is wrong biologically a correction right now in the name of Jesus Christ it is over in the name of Jesus that nine months from now you will return with miracle children to the glory of the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you the Lord is revealing something to me that I need to pray for you can go back to your seat for this ones I want to pray for you and I want you to bring those people out there is a spirit that is at work in families where it is the women that take care of the men no matter how responsible no matter how supposedly productive something seems to happen that bring the men down the power of God is resting I'm seeing at least eight people right now bring them out I decree and declare in the name that is above all names by that the power that raised Christ from the dead I cause that spirit now I'm not, no 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 I'm not saying come out at random listen understand what happens when I mention a case like this the very power of God will locate you and then if I do ask to come out you bring them out so that we don't make this place rowdy that's all right just leave them since they are already out madam look at me this woman stand up what's your name huh? I want to pray for you you believe in the power of the Holy Spirit the Lord is setting you free from everything that represents witchcraft I stretch my hands towards you this out of her now in the name of Jesus help her please help her just hold her so we don't just just hold and keep her in one place I release you in the name of Jesus Christ I release you in the name of Jesus Christ I release you in the name of Jesus Christ I release you in the name of Jesus Christ now the Lord is showing me people here whose families have been stagnated in one position you love Jesus you are sincere people some of you are even ministers of the gospel there is somebody who is bearing the same name with Dr. Cosmas your name too is Cosmas come come out I just saw that in a vision that your name just like this man please make sure you don't tell lies if there is that person here let me see that person I want to pray with you the Lord just ministered to me that there is someone that has that name and if it happens to be your loved one also I don't know how we're going to do it now but I need to pray and respond very quickly your name is also Cosmas God wants to pray for you and then I'm hearing who is Vivian Vivian I'm hearing the name Vivian I want to pray a general prayer but there are three people who will shout right now under the anointing the Lord is taking away the spirit of death from their family right now this is this is what I saw in my vision please help them bring them out bring them out the spirit of death oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain spirit of death in the name of Jesus oh death where is your sting and no oh, grave where is your victory everyone here as an individual or as a family under the siege of death patterns of death every year every two two years someone must die by the power of Patatosh in the name of Jesus I set those altars on fire now 
on fire now. Who is Vivienne? All of you? Who is from Imo State? Imo State. Where are you from? Imo State. I want to pray for you. I'll pray for all of you, but I want to pray for you. Because where are your loved ones? Your family members? I want to pray for you. So that somebody, I'm seeing somebody from Imo to Port Harcourt having a ghastly motor accident. A car turning over and they are saying survived by. But who shall say a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. That, that demonic thing that the devil is skinning by the blood of the eternal covenant, I declare your complete deliverance. And for all of you who have come out by the Spirit, my friend, what do you do? Huh? I'm a public servant. I also have a car shop. Look at me. Go and register a company. There is a strange grace for wealth that God is going to bring on you. Hear what I'm telling you. Look at me. Do you believe in the prophetic? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Kapra katush kativa. Receive that grace right now. I launch you, I release you into that dimension of grace, even by the Spirit of God. And for all of you who are standing here, I stretch my hands towards you. May the power of the Holy Spirit rest upon you and open up new chapters of your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive that grace right now. Hallelujah. Please return back to your seat. Now hear me. I'm going to pray a very strange prayer now. And when you pick those people, I want them in front here. There are people, I'm seeing an eagle. There are people called into a strange order of the prophetic. The end time prophetic ministry. Some of you may not even know, I'm about to pray. That grace and that mantle is about to rest upon you. Please help them, help them so they don't do careless things, please. This is the you are looking for. Oh, my friend, what is your name? What do you do? I'm a student. Come and stand here. I want to pray for you. There is a very strange grace that you will carry. But look at me. Be careful with association, right? Love people who are believers and be very serious. May the Lord help you in the name of Jesus. Even as God has helped your father, may God help you and lift you to become a sign and a wonder. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please bring those people here. I decree and declare right now everyone anointed to be in the prophetic i decree and declare may that man to wherever you are from the front to the back from my left to my right young and old step into that anointing now step into that anointing now step into that anointing now the eyes that see the ears that hear i ignite your spirit man Hear the sights and the sounds of the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Ragata balaka ta branda ka paka tosko to brakete. Em brakete ka ta ka braka tosko ti mata. A new season, a new season, a new season for your Christian experience. A new season for your prophetic encounters. The Lord will raise you, mighty men over Anambra, mighty men like the men of David, men of fire, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now hear me, please look up. Please everyone, let me have your attention. I want to tell you something very prophetic right now. There are three groups of people God is raising over Anambra State in this season. Write it down and listen carefully number one there will be a strange manifestation of the ministry of prophetic intercessors hear me as i'm mentioning it that anointing will be resting on those called into that dimension prophetic intercessors there will be women of fire women who understand the art of the altar 
hear me many women intercessory groups will arise by the spirit women who will pray revival men will be affected but there will be many women daughters of zion i ignite your spirit man i connect you with the mantle of the intercessor give him no rest until he establishes jerusalem as a praise that is number one the mantle of the intercessor is resting upon anambra men and women you will see people who understand how to pray strategic prophetic intercessory prayers that can bring the program of god to bear some of you may be weak but you are stepping into seasons of intense consecration intense consecration no more distraction intense consecration the bible says seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and it says to run with perseverance the race set before us may you endure the consecration of an intercessor may you receive the burden of an intercessor that you will pray the program of God like Anna the prophetess like Simeon the prophet number two the second group of people that God is raising hear me please in a very strange way there are two unique ministries that God is um, I would not say bringing it for the first time but God is emphasizing two unique ministries in Anambra state number one is the ministry of evangelism number two is the ministry of the teacher these two ministries this is what God revealed to me he is restoring the evangelistic in his strength and power most of the evangelism we do in our territory is just a byproduct of a man's commitment but there are people anointed oh god pack the crusade grounds again oh god pack the amphitheaters again until genuine revival falls upon this land where are the revivalists may that man to rest upon you may that man to rest upon you rest upon your campuses rest upon the entire local government that make up an Ambra state strange evangelism with power with signs and with wonders hear me I'm not announcing this so that you would just sweep it under the carpet is what the spirit of god wants to do i had a little nap this afternoon please look up i had a little nap this afternoon after the morning session and i saw a very strange vision this is what i saw i saw like a river and then i saw a strange spirit just came out of the river it's like that spirit has been hidden in that river for a long time and it made people to practice certain things and maybe a season came where people prayed that thing away but i saw a reemergence, a reemergence of that spirit again and the lord told me that i should pray that there is a spirit that will start making young men to start joining called groups and associations because of wealth that there is a restoration of a, an ancient spirit this is what i saw father we decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the christ i prophesy to the length 
breath and the breath of an umbra state. We speak, lift up your heads, oh ye gates. Be ye lifted, ancient doors, for the King of Glory is making a triumphant entry over an umbra state. Therefore, we prophesy, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus, over the land of Anambra State, Maranatha, upon the campuses, Maranatha, upon the churches, in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is reintroducing the evangelistic and the teaching grace. I repeat, the teaching grace. Hear me. The only way believers become matured is through the sound exegesis of doctrine. If believers do not have a platform, regardless the church, where the precepts of the kingdom are methodically communicated there will be bankruptcy of growth within that territory according to jeremiah 3 15 and i will give you pastors that are according to my heart and they shall feed you with wisdom and with knowledge therefore i'm praying right now some of you are men of god some of you may seem like ordinary individuals lord where are those who you will open their eyes to the spirit of revelation access to the mysteries of the kingdom the grace of a teacher some of you are heading fellowship groups some of you are pastors already you have struggled with communicating doctrine i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead step into a new dimension of spiritual understanding a new dimension of spiritual understanding churches youth groups apostolic and prophetic platforms prayer groups step into superior dimensions of accurate understanding of the precepts of the kingdom in the name of jesus christ now listen very carefully i want to give you the third I told you the first kind of people that God is raising are prophetic intercessors. The second, they are ministers, but two ministries particularly, the evangelistic and the revelatory grace. Number three, in a very strange way, God is raising end time financial apostles. That was why God brought Dr. Cosmas. Many of you may, that's why I told you that what he was doing was not an interruption to the program. When I sat there, I said, this man is truly a spiritual man. He was not just shaking you. It was an extension of something the Bible calls the hand of fellowship. There are realms that you don't enter financially by buying and selling. You are brought into it by those who carry the grace. Now I want to pray for you. There are many men and women here. You came for this meeting. Listen, listen. When we talk about the issue of finances, I can assure you on time that many people have disappointed God. It's easy like we dealt with yesterday to cry and roll under the anointing and say, Lord, empower me. Do you know what it means to be a billionaire and yet still love the Lord? When I saw the man of God rolling on the ground and doing what he was doing, I said, how many billionaires who became billionaires through the dignity of kingdom integrity can have the open-heartedness to roll before Jesus? When David began to dance at the return of the ark, Saul's daughter looked at him and said, why are you dancing undignifiably? You are bringing shame to your status. His reply, I am dancing before the God who took the kingdom from your father and gave it to me. 
God had that query and she died a barren woman. Hear me. God is not looking for materialistic people. God is not looking for people whose obsession about wealth is just to have cars and houses and earn respect. No. God is looking for men and women who he will trust as his treasurers in this kingdom and in this end time. Men and women whose hearts will never be connected to these resources and yet they will lay up gold as dust. I want to release that grace. And by a prophet, the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet were they preserved. He said, believe in the Lord your God. Hear me. Anambra State is arguably the business hub of this nation. So you are not naive and ignorant when it has to do with the principles that make for wealth and abundance. Many of you here were raised ethically and culturally to understand money and finances. I'm not here to downplay your pedigree, but hear me. There is a dimension of wealth that comes through providing values and services. But there is a dimension of wealth that comes through the power of the prophetic. It's an advantage to believers. I want to release something upon someone now. I'm standing in partnership with Dr. Cosmas on that grace the grace that had, that lifted him and brought him to this position lord there is someone in this auditorium that you are you have anointed there has to be a man and a woman someone you will be using as a financial apostle to fund your end time project spirit of the living god where are these individuals i decree and declare from the front to the back from my left to my right may that mantle that came upon Joseph and distinguish him economically may that mantle that came upon Solomon I release that grace upon you now I release that grace upon you now the grace to lay up gold as dust and yet your heart still connected to the things of God may that grace rest upon you now hear me some of you by reason of what has come upon you tonight there are people you we're not supposed to meet but god will direct your steps and that one connection will open you up to a world of finances may it be so for you in the name of jesus now hear me everyone under the sound of my voice before we get to the next thing to do open your mouth in one minute and prophesy that i am advancing everything that has tied me down at the same level ministerially i decree and declare here at this conference this apostolic invasion over an state declare your exodus i move forward in ministry i go forward i break boundaries in the name of jesus is someone praying There are people who are sincere but they are carrying influences victims of all kinds of things the bible says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and after which the sons of jacob will possess their possessions can i tell you every chain that has tied you to yesterday tied you to ancestry and would not let you go as a man of god the bible says we have been called out of every tribe tongue nation blotting out every handwriting the assignment of this ministration is to enforce by grace that which has been finished in christ are you ready to pray and then i will be speaking over your life in the next one minute and then we're going to do everything together 
please be sensitive this is a moment you must not miss open your mouth and begin to declare the thing that god must do in your life tonight as a testament of your own open door souvenir father make it happen go ahead and pray go ahead and pray Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Hi, 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 hi. Glory be to God. Hey. Hi, 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 hi. Glory be to God. Hi, 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 hi. Glory be to God. Hi, 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 hi. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hi, 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 hi. Glory be to God. Man of God, pray. Hi, hi, hi. Glory be to God, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Evalenda Balekros Kaberatus Kabregede. You come from a background where men do not rise. It's time to end that yoke. Ah, it's time to end that yoke. It's time to end that yoke. You come from a family where women are the men and men are women. It's time to break that yoke. Someone get angry for one minute. A prophet in the making, a man of God in the making. I like you to pray. It's time to carry fire tonight. It's time to carry grace tonight. Only healed people can heal others. Only those delivered can deliver others. Only saviors can save others. What is that for sitting on your ministry? Sitting on your family? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, let's do this very quickly. Please look at me. Bring out your prayer requests. And I want you to pass it to the last person by your left or right. To make it easy, easy for ushers. Ushers, very quickly, I want you to just move through the aisles. Don't worry, nobody's reading your request. Just bring it so that we prepare everything at once. I want to pray ministering deliverance and healing right now just a minute for you to bring your prayer request that which you have written that the lord will do as a testament of open doors there are many men of god that will rise from this meeting Honestly, this is what God is showing me. There are many people. Asaba is in need of greater envoys, greater witnesses. And I'm seeing there is an oil. There is a stirring. God is still looking for. There are not enough men of God. I'm telling you, there are many great people, but there are still more. And there will be an emergence of young men. These men will be disciplined young men with character and fire. They will understand the ways of the kingdom like never before. Let me start with these people. I'm going to pray right now. Our ushers are busy. How do we do it now? If the ushers are busy, maybe worship team will join the ushers or any other department. If they are not singing, they can join to do whatever it is because there are so many people here and sometimes I may request that you bring some of the people out. I want us to do it very quickly. Before I pray deliverance and healing, the Lord wants to call some people out. You have been walking with the spirit in the secret place and there is a mantle that your destiny needs there are prophets that must rise there are intercessors that must rise many prayer groups this is what god is telling me many prophetic and apostolic prayer groups are going to rise across asaba young men they will come together and begin to pray down the purposes of god my assignment tonight is to open you to certain dimensions. I'm about to pray. I want you to bring those people, whether you are an usher or not, 
once the power of God rests on someone let's do it very fast so that we don't stay unnecessarily long my father I pray in this place there are women where are they by the spirit I decree and declare everyone who has a role to play in this prophetic agenda of the spirit over Asaba right now I declare let that wind blow let that wind blow let that wind blow from the front to the back from the front to the back the left to the right let that wind blow help them please someone ushers get something to cover them eh? let that wind blow in the name of Jesus let that wind blow let that wind blow let that wind blow warriors of prayer I call you by the spirit arise now warriors of prayer champions of the altar women men I call you by the spirit arise in the name of Jesus warriors of prayer warriors of the spirit men who understand the altar oh you will be warriors in your homes you will be warriors across territories i stir up that fire i stir up that fire the borders the borders are rising the borders are rising the borders are rising with fire with fire with fire the borders are rising i say it by the voice of prophecy the borders are rising isaac is arising by the power of the holy ghost Someone go ahead and pray. I'm available, oh God. Everyone pray that prayer. Available. Right to the back. Are you praying? I'm available. Let that mantle for my destiny rest upon me. Available. To be used mightily. Available. Available for my campus. Available in Asaba. A woman of fire. All those who are in front here the Lord brought you by his spirit hear me after tonight there is a level of consecration that you are stepping into for some of you you are stepping into seasons of fastings seasons of prayer God will be revealing himself to you multiplying visions I pray for you you may look weak but may power from on high mantle you this moment may power from on high mantle you this moment that God's prophetic program for in gathering for Asaba for the south south under your watch may it not be aborted in the name of Jesus I pray the same prayer for everyone here who is in ministry apostolic ministry prophetic ministry evangelical ministry intercessory ministry the grace to stand strong the grace to remain the grace to be unmovable the grace to not compromise may that grace rest upon you now 
the staying power to do ministry with integrity may it be released upon you that you have received that grace remains with you you will not lose it through carelessness you will be yielded until you become you will be yielded until you are changed you will be yielded until you evolve to a very superior version of yourself in Jesus name we pray amen return to your seat if you can I want to pray now for those who are oppressed there is liberty in Christ there is liberty in Christ there is liberty in Christ I want to pray now there is liberty in Christ hear me I'm going to be ministering deliverance right now what is deliverance the process that establishes the victory of Christ upon the life of a believer separating you from any spirit or any condition that impedes your becoming and your manifesting like Christ deliverance is not just separation from spirits it is also separation from conditions hallelujah and I'm going to pray right now there are people in this place bound by all kinds of satanic things from addictions to curses to yokes patterns that have been happening around your life and family patterns of death patterns of failure patterns of idol worship patterns of all kinds of things it's time for it to go I'm going to pray for you now at the count of three you're going to shout the name of Jesus those under the anointing you will leave them eh? But then all those who now are under the anointing, I want you to gently bring them out as I begin to pray. It's important. Ushers, well done to you and all those who are working. This is the sacrifice you are doing for the sake of those whose destiny must be lifted. I'm going to pray a prayer and I will ask all of you to shout Jesus. And as you shout that name that is above every other name, every altar and everything that is not of God that has authorized the reign of darkness over your life, it must give way now father you have given power to bring deliverance unto your people in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands like Moses did across Asaba and I decree and declare everyone right now who is under any kind of yoke any kind of curse every legal access Satan has to your life as the count of three as you shout that name I decree and declare may that access be broken and let your deliverance be established are you ready to shout now at the count of three one two three shout Jesus be set free now be set free now be set free now bring them out I cause every spirit I call spirits of ancestry I call you by name and 
and I curse you by the blood of the Lamb. I bring deliverance right now. I bring deliverance right now. Let them go. Release their families. Release their destinies. Release their families from the front to the back, the left to the right. I say it again. Every bondage that has held anyone, bondage of addiction, patterns of darkness, molestations in dreams, retrogressions, spirits of delay, in the name of Jesus Christ, the one who died and rose again, be set free this moment. Let them go. I set altars on fire. Let the consuming fire rest upon every altar. is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by Hear me. There is a spirit sitting upon the destinies of firstborns, the ones who have opened the womb, that they will keep serving the younger. Is the spirit that came upon Esau. I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant. Let that agreement with darkness be broken now. Let it be broken now. I release your prophetic destiny in the name of Jesus. Spirits that have brought poverty over families, regardless their diligence, they only live by begging from others. Right now, every altar that powers that manifestation, it comes under attack now. Hallelujah. He told Zechariah, what seest thou? And he said, I see four horns. These are the horns that have exalted themselves above Israel, above Jerusalem, and above Judah. He said, I have sent four carpenters. Four carpenters. I have come tonight as a privileged carpenter. Every horn that has exalted itself over your family. There are some of you, there are patterns every year someone must die every two years someone must die just when people are about to rise let me speak over those families oh death where is your sting and apareke toskiata and no oh, grave where is your victory the power of untimely death over families let that door be closed now let that door be closed now let that door be closed now hear me I'm ministering as the Lord is putting it in my spirit there is the spirit of lateness people always do things late the first person that builds builds at 50 the first person that finishes school is at 35 or 40 he says satisfy me early with your goodness I want to pray for you the spirit of lateness that makes you crawl like a snail in destiny i command by the fire of the holy ghost anyone who is a victim of lateness be delivered this moment now hallelujah hear me the bible says do not let your good be evil spoken of do you know there are men and women just when it is time to lift them there is a dark cloud that comes upon them and everybody starts to hate them including those who can help them the moment that opportunity lifts then everything becomes normal i don't know who has been like jabez that the, the garment 
I'm seeing dark veils, dark veils just covering the faces of people. This is what I see in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you the prayer of Jabez. May my God bless you. May my God enlarge you. May his hand rest upon you. I tear off that veil of shame. I tear off that veil of reproach. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please be sensitive. God is doing something in your life. Hallelujah. That the younger will head over the elder. That was the course in the Bible. I see two nations, but the younger will head over the elder. But my Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more. Say more and more. That is the heritage of the believer in Christ. I taught you yesterday that the end point the end of our business in the spirit is the glory the manifestation of the glory of God in and through the life of the believer in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing the hands of people tied in the spirit these are chains that have held the hands of people right now the fire of God is going to rest and begin to break that chain father everyone from this vision you are showing me everyone whose productivity has been under attack in the name of jesus resulting to unemployment resulting to failure in business by the power that raised christ from the dead may that chain be broken now may that chain be broken now hallelujah hallelujah for all of you who are in front here, I decree and declare over you, every spirit that will not let you go. Pharaoh drowned into the sea together with his people. And I declare, every power I speak as one sent in the name of Jesus, release their families now. Let them go in the name of Jesus, that they may go and serve the Lord acceptably. Every legal access you have over their lives and their families is hereby broken forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. We overcame them by the blood of the Lamb, the Bible declares, and the word of their testimony. You are delivered now and delivered forever. In Jesus' name. Now, if you are trusting God for healing, please, you can return back to your seat for those who can. Lay your hands right now. I want to pray for you. I believe in the healing ministry with all my heart. I have seen the power of God bring healing to people people who would have been dead now you are not only receiving it but you are also receiving the anointing to be an extension of the same to God's people very quickly I want to pray for you for sake of time we may not have the time to call for testimonies miracle services are usually services that demand an extensive time because of the enormity of the problems that people have the spirit of a prophet is subject to the prophet but sometimes you are moved by compassion as you see the kinds of problems that people carry but I have to pray for you listen I have been a victim of sickness before I know what sickness can do there are some of you who have been told the moment you are 30 the moment you are 40 the moment you are 50 the moment you are 60 start preparing for your grief because it looks like there are sicknesses prostrate cancer all kinds of satanic manifestations but I want to pray please lay your hands and believe Jesus I sing praises to your name oh God Praises to your name, oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. 
I sing praises to your name. Oh God, praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and greatly. Do you know? Hold on, please. Because of the enormity, because of the kinds of situations of people, tomorrow is our final miracle service back home in Abuja. And do you know, there are literally hospitals, not just in Nigeria, across the globe. And may God bless the owners of those hospitals, who literally, they just bring screens at the wards, or some of them allow their patients on phone, just when the miracle service is going on. And there are patients in the hospital because doctors are right now becoming spiritual people too and bless god for doctors that are tongue talking jesus loving and serving they know when it is just a natural cause and they know when this one is a spirit and the phenomenal miracles that god has done i, I don't i don't know anything that humbles me more than that that in this place right now there are people some you may not even know you are sick others you know from ulcers to blood pressure and all kinds of things a young beautiful vibrant lady just about to start her life and they say they just found cancer somewhere and sadly in two weeks the cancer has spread and it's about to destroy you no lay your hands and i want you to believe if you are not sick in your body you can stand in for someone but by all means, believe in the healing power of Jesus. I know he heals. He truly is the healer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over Asaba. Your precious people have come. Some have cried. Some, like the woman with the issue of blood, have spent their entire... I'm hearing the word angina. That looks, that looks like a heart-related problem. Something, a deformity or some problem with the heart. This is what I'm hearing. In the name of Jesus, whoever it is that has that condition, that heart problem, I'm not a medical doctor, but in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Please believe it. And after I pray, I want you to shout a believing amen. Every spirit of infirmity, that is behind every sickness wasting millions of your naira help mama help mama something is happening to her i command that spirit right now by the power that raised christ from the dead i come as one sent by the blood of jesus that was shed upon the cross that fountain that flows through calvary in the name of jesus lose your hold right now lose your hold right now in the name of jesus christ now i decree and declare asaba from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name back pain be healed in jesus name pain around the groin area be healed in Jesus name eye condition whether total blindness or partial blindness be healed in Jesus name deaf ears be open now in Jesus name everybody with any growth a lump around breast lump or some growth fibroids of all kinds i cost them right now i cost them right now my god the power of god is moving here someone with severe pain around your shoulder in the name of jesus who died and rose again be healed right now there's someone you have a problem urinating you are not able to go out you you can go there and stand for a long time just easing yourself literally in droplets i want to pray for you 
this you may not know i'm not a medical doctor i'm just saying as the spirit of god is revealing to me this is the early symptoms of prostrate in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hand over that man you are a gentleman i decree and declare whatever is enlarging your prostrate we cause it right now in jesus name there's someone god is showing me you have a fertility issue that is related to man you're a man you have a fertility issue this is an embarrassing issue you have gone to the hospital you've seen a doctor they've given you drugs i'm praying for you right now by the power that raised christ from the dead in your name i come alive to declare your victory the resurrected king is resurrecting me by your spirit i will rise from the ashes of defeat the resurrected king is resurrecting you the resurrected king is resurrecting you i decree and declare life surges into your body now There's someone you don't have any visible sickness any ailment but something began to happen to you from last year you get tired easily the moment you walk or do something strenuous you're a young person but you become tired as if you're an old person in the name of Jesus Christ let healing come for you now I'm seeing something that looks like a leather and I'm seeing it boiling and the Lord is saying I should pray for someone that there is poor oxygen flow in your body poor oxygen flow in your body this thing you keep having sometimes you feel like you want to pass out because there is poor oxygen flow in your body I decree and declare right now be healed from that infirmity anyone having problems with your lumbar vertebra in the name of Jesus let it be corrected now let it be corrected now there's a gentleman you are having a problem you have severe pain around your joints you are not a sickler but you are having pro you know how sicklers are when they start having the crisis your joints your feet you are having very severe it's like a circulation problem in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you wherever you are by the power of the Holy Spirit be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now I see a woman you get pregnant but it does not reach three months you have to lose that baby something happens and you lose that baby this has happened a number of times in the name of Jesus we are praying for you right now according to the time of life by this time next year may the God who gives children I say it prophetically by this time next year by this time next year if I be a man of God I prophesy by the Spirit by this time next year return with your miracle child there's a woman here I want to pray for you you are beginning to feel pain at the left side of your breast and this thing you've been afraid to go to the hospital if i don't pray for you i'm seeing that this thing is becoming a cancerous thing and i'm seeing a situation where they are saying quickly they have to take off one of it wherever you are let the power of god that devil that wants you to lose the parts of your body to cancer Paracatos kateba lakata, ebreke de belentos kia tabarakos kia, rakatos ke berende begete ya. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. I've seen this situation. God is showing me many times. Why it happens, I don't know. But your hair is falling. Literally, you are losing your hair. A lady. You are losing your hair i mean very very significant amount of your hair just falling like someone who went through chemo and is losing their hair in the name of jesus 
the same grace that grew back the hair of Samson may that grace rest upon you for fruitfulness in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus every infirmity that will not let you rest I decree and declare be healed now be healed now breathing problems be healed now in Jesus name everyone begin to pray in the spirit please bring for me the request okay stretch your hands and begin to pray in the spirit in one minute please pray everyone those who are following online you can connect by faith we're about to pray over this request right now is someone believing God for a miracle go ahead speak to the Lord if you are yet to submit your request please do that quickly we have to hurry up you can wave it and an usher will pick very quickly man of God I want you to stretch your hands because you are not only agreeing with me in prayer you are carrying this same grace in the name of Jesus and with it God will help you to do wonders in the life of those who look up to you someone pray hallelujah now I'm going to bow my knees and pray and all I want you to do is to agree with me in faith you don't have to kneel I will do the kneeling for you holy holy blessed is he who comes in the name of our God holy are there still requests bring them who comes in the name of our God we hail you we worship you we hail you most high listen I was caught up in the realm of the spirit many years ago and that was where I heard this song it was not a song that I wrote it was a song that I heard the angels sing Lion of Judah the lamb upon the throne we hail you most high the lion of judah the lamb upon the throne we hail you most high we hail you we worship you we hail you most high someone go ahead and begin to pray from the back to the front these egyptians that i see today i see them no more forever in the next one minute go ahead and pray Someone go ahead and pray. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. Ah. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. Yeah, my glory, the lifter up of my head. Say, so you're my glory, Lord. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. I know the God that answers prayer. I know the God that answers prayer. 
there is a covenant of answered prayer solomon in dedicating the temple he said lord whoever faces this direction and cries that you will hear and you will hearken in the name of jesus i pray right now by the power that raised christ from the dead every request that is written here for everyone who believes in the name of jesus the one who has shown us mercy receive this request as testimonies receive this request as instant testimonies hear me many of these prayer requests are men dependent that means there are those who have been anointed by god to be the channels to answer prayers i prophesy to the north the south the east and the west of asaba whoever must come into divine partnership with the spirit of grace to make for the answers of this prayer wherever they are in the name of jesus we summon them to honor the word of prophecy in the name of jesus christ and every man who says over his dead body for you to rejoice and see the hand of god in the name of jesus may the earth open and swallow them i stand upon these requests prophetically and i decree and declare every trouble that has sat on your head i bring it under the feet of jesus and i declare unto you asaba in gathering and the community of believers here represented these egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever in the name of jesus christ are you ready to receive prophetic words son of man can these bones live and he said only thou knowest can i tell you the truth if you receive the prophetic declarations that i'm bringing over your life you will marvel and wonder at the things that begin to happen in the name of jesus i speak over everyone who has come for this conference by the power that raised christ from the dead hear me every door that has closed over you closed over your ministry closed over your business closed over your children closed over your influence by the power that raised christ from the dead i speak to that door a father be open a father be open a father be open in the name of jesus christ the bible says you don't have to bring those under the anointing in front again just guide them and say and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon every destiny helper who must send for you to transit you from where you are to the next level of your prophetic destiny wherever they are i call upon the god of my covenant who is also your god between now and december 31st please hear me i prophesy to you may your destiny help us show up in your life may your destiny help us show up in your life In the name of jesus i'm hearing restoration in my spirit i don't know what you have lost some you have lost time some you have lost relationships some you have lost things some you have even lost mantles i'm praying for you now 
the grace that restores may it land upon you the grace that restores may it land upon you in the name of Jesus Christ the grace that restores I say it again may it rest upon you in the name of Jesus are you ready to receive favor father I pray in the name of Jesus for everyone here who believes that there is actually a grace called favor I'm praying in the name that is above all names I call upon my God the one who has shown me mercy let that grace let that mantle for favor let it rest upon you now let that grace for favor rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ can I pray for the works of your hands now listen please I was speaking to a few people yesterday and I told them something we're wrapping up I want to pray a very serious prayer for you there is a grace called the power to prosper do you know how it works there are three dimensions to the operation of that grace it comes upon your head it comes upon your hands and it comes upon your feet listen carefully when that grace comes upon your head it activates creativity and illumination and understanding Elihu said there is a spirit in man 32 and verse 8 and the breath the spirit the breath of the almighty make it men of understanding then number two it rests upon your hand representing productivity that the Lord will bless the works of your hands it causes the works of your hands to be desired and gravitates those who place value on what you do to locate you and to honor you then number three it rests upon your feet bringing guidance and direction because you can have the right thing but be in the wrong place are we together now Abraham if he remained at all of the Chaldeans even though he was a sincere man he would never be blessed there are times where God relocates men to their desired place are we together direction is important and guidance is important these are subsets of the manifestation of wisdom wisdom as divine direction the Lord is my shepherd and because of his ability to lead and guide me I shall not want I want to pray this grace for you upon your head upon your hand upon your feet let it rest now I say it again upon your head supernatural creativity in a way you have never seen illumination understanding of things and I pray for your hand you are in business you are working you are a, an employed person whatever endeavor you are engaged in in Jesus name may that grace rest upon you and finally find supernatural direction you know where to go to you are led by the Spirit you will never go to a place of trouble you will never go to a place of loss you will never go to a place of decline you will never find your way to Sodom in the name of Jesus Christ now hear me please hear me I want to pray this very sincere prayer from my heart of all the prayers and the prophetic words this in my opinion is the greatest you are about to receive I want to pray for your spiritual life that includes your prayer life that includes your passion for the word that includes your passion for the house of God in all your receiving you did not receive much if this one does not rest on you there is a grace that causes men to pray the spirit of prayer and supplication it makes you to become one who understands the mysteries of the altar and from there you will command power with God and power with men there is the passion for the Word of God that causes you to desire the Word of God even more than your necessary food there is a grace that makes the house of God a delight for you I was glad when they said unto me let us when there is a decline in membership within a territory something is wrong with the passion and the fire of the people therefore I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus 
whatever has taken your spiritual life down compromises carelessness prayerlessness wordlessness lack of passion for the things of god lack of commitment to serve in the house of god by this fire by this power i find to flames your prayer altar i find to flames your prayer altar i say it again i find to flames your prayer altar in the name of jesus receive passion for the word of god the discipline to fast the discipline to wake up and pray the discipline to study the word the discipline to love the house of god the discipline to live for jesus in the mighty name of jesus let it rest upon you hear me anybody who fights you from today goes down instantly in the mighty name of jesus now in this great prophetic atmosphere before you receive the final blessing i want to count one to five and in that count i want to give someone an opportunity who is an apostle i desperately need jesus listen please keep standing there are many people here who are saying apostle whilst hearing you teach whilst hearing you preach the hunger and the passion for the things of the spirit is welling up within me but i have never truly made jesus lord of my life or you are saying i remember making this declaration of faith but as it stands right now something is is capitally wrong with my spiritual life i need your mercy i need your help oh god i'm going to count one to five i don't know where that person is but in the name of jesus as i count one to five i want you to run and come and stand here now unto the lamb upon the throne we raise come we raise the sound for he is god and god alone hallelujah hallelujah now unto the lamb upon nations of the earth over the nations of the earth hallelujah hallelujah i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back come i have decided No turning back, no turning back. Sing it one more time. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. What a mighty harvest tonight, young and old, male and female. Only Jesus can draw this many to himself. Let's honor him with a great hand clap for this ones. Now for all of you who are here, may I request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender. Lift it high to Jesus, not to a man, not to Joshua Selman. Lift it. Say after me as loud as you can. And please, I want you to mean it from your heart. You're not reciting a poem. Jesus is in this place. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time. Say, Lord Jesus. I love you with all my heart. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive your life I receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and I declare that from tonight 
I am a child of God washed by the blood of the Lamb the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever I live for Jesus keep your beautiful hands lifted and I pray for you father based on the authority of your word the integrity of your word alongside your confession I decree and declare that truly the power of sin Satan hell and the grave let it be broken over your life and every spirit that will not let you serve Jesus acceptably and in truth I cast it out of your life now I commend you to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified and I decree and declare that the spirit of grace will begin a journey with you that leads you to become a manifestation of the glory of God from tonight you go forward ever and backward never amen and amen now we have such a crowd of people I do not know if the counselors are able to handle this they're able to okay here's what you do for me I know that there are a lot of you and we're going to make that as fast as possible may I please request as many of you who can just walk straight to my left that will be your right and there'll be a group of counselors who will have a word within minutes they are done with you and you will rush back let's honor them as they go what a great harvest Asaba is this how you give Jesus praise for a harvest hallelujah amen just one more function very quickly and then we're out of here where's um pastor Ike and his wife please let's appreciate them as they come let me just speak over their lives for the next level celebrate them as they come thank you Jesus it is the grace of God that rests upon our lives that makes the difference in our faith adventure just a moment and then we're done please Please, if for any reason, any one of these people moving, if they left their bags, their Bibles, please, those of you who are their neighbors, do well to protect it for them. We do not want a situation where people leave and then we hear that they are missing bags or missing Bibles. You shouldn't come here and steal. You already know what to rest on your head in this kind of atmosphere. Hallelujah. Pastor Ike and the wife, can we appreciate them as they come very quickly? Let me speak a word of blessing. On their behalf I want to say a very big thank you to all those who have stood by them stood with them hallelujah let's honor them in gathering global honor your pastors oh they are coming with their lovely children okay let's give them a big big God bless you is this how you honor grace within your land come hallelujah praise the name of the Lord now stretch your hands towards them in one minute we're out of time but everything that you desire to rest on your own life please i'd like you to speak it over them in one moment lord help them many people have no idea the kind of attacks that are on men and women of god in this end time the devil desires for ministers of the gospel to fall the devil desires for them to be destroyed the devil des desires that their testimonies that have been built over decades is destroyed in one day please pray for them lord keep them keep their family keep the children it will never be that the purposes of god will go down under their watch is someone praying from the depth of your heart lord raise men and women who will stand by them in prayer raise prophetic intercessors raise financiers for them grant them increased influence in the name of Jesus father thank you so much for pastor Ike thank you for his dear wife and the lovely children thank you in the name of Jesus for that which you are doing I am very proud of what you are doing in their lives helping them to blaze the fire of revival across this territory Lord by the spirit and by the election of grace I measure a thousand cubits for them in the spirit I'm praying that you shoot them higher and deeper in the name of Jesus Christ as I lay my hands upon them and the children Lord I pray that the grace for increased influence 
greater fire greater grace access to all the blessings of the spirit let it rest upon them in the name of jesus let that grace rest upon you 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 this family is blessed you are distinguished not only in asaba not only in delta state not only in the south south but across the nations i call you blessed this family continues to go from glory to glory nobody will die in this family in the name of jesus i pray that everybody who fights you goes down you will keep seeing the faithfulness of god i use them as a point of contact to pray for all the pastors and the leaders of in gathering global in the name of jesus as they rise you rise as god visits them he visits you this ministry will know no lack your children will not lack resources they will serve the god of their parents i bless you you will do ministry with integrity and with character you will go from glory to glory no weapon fashioned against you will prosper you are blessed and you remain blessed in jesus mighty name we pray give them a big god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you okay i'm told that there are people here who want to give and who want to sow i will just pray a general prayer and then you can do so once i leave it's important for those who i'm told that they want to give it's not about money so it's important that i speak over your life in the name of jesus all those who have come with seeds of all kinds to give whether it's to sow into this grace to sow into the ministry in whatever capacity i pray my god who is not a scammer who is not a fraudster who does not deceive or mislead men you have done this i presume willingly from your heart joyfully gladly and with faith may my god supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by christ jesus i bless you you will never remain at this level financially may god raise help for you you will keep going from glory to glory you will return dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.